Good morning. I'm saying good morning, but it's really evening. Well, you know, Alice is always like to say um, <laughs> morning. Let me show you what's going on right my foot here. Lucky. Lucky! Where you come from? Where you want? And look the next bad boy going there. Hiding, right? If all you listen, all you hear the parrots flying over the mountains there. It's evening time. Evening time, a nice evening in Trinidad. And you have all the right elements. Breeze, cool breeze. Um, birds chirping. You'll see the hummingbirds back and forth. I have to refill the feeders. Just haven't gotten around to, um, to doing it. You know. So I just want to give all you a little talk up before I actually show all you what's going on take place in this video right now yes my mommy passed away she flew away she's in a better place out of the pain out of the suffering and my thoughts now starting to settle properly it now starting to go back into a nice logical rhythm a nice smooth flow and I believe everything happens in God's timing and God made it so that I could come out here this evening catch myself have myself looking a little presentable and just give some thanks first of all thanks to him yeah now God really do give you more than you can handle now and there were days when I thought I really wasn't going to make it because me and mommy was like that. We used to talk every single day, 10 times a day for hours. Sometimes I put the phone on speaker, I took it in my bosom, and while I washing wares, she cooking down in Erie, and I washing my wares here, and we talking, talking, talking. And um, I miss the phone calls, I miss seeing mama face coming up on the phone well let me tell you what happened the other day I went by the doctor and I see a message come through from mama phone hi Melissa because that's what she used to call me hi Melissa well you know <laughs> like for a split second my heart just almost fly out of, my, out of the mouth and I, I tell myself well if, if I had to have a heart attack I know a, a good place in a doctor's office right and then immediately after the next thought that entered my mind was that that had to be bean <laughs> that had to be bean and sure enough it was bean i said bean what going on boy so you know he was just trying to keep mommy number alive and get in touch with those who were not aware of her passing and stuff and um hi bean hi diane i'm missing all you so today is thanks, right? Uh, thanking the Lord God Almighty for his strength and his endurance, his patience with me, his patience and everyone. Thanks to the Lord for helping me to understand that she's in a better place. Thanks to the Lord for sending so many wonderful people via YouTube. Yes, I'm talking about each and every one of you all. Here now, all well, you know how much I love all you. I love all you, all in the best world and beyond. That's how I can put it. Simply put, all in the best world and beyond. I really love all you. I appreciate all you. You all have been really um, giving me that strength to continue every day or all I've seen is like comments coming through on the on any of the videos and it's just like one piece of motivation and encouragement and one piece of love from from one person to the next and it's like I can't get enough, I get addicted to all of that. So my heart is filled with gratitude to all of you. I know I might not have been responding to each of your comments and I might have missed a few phone calls and I might not have replied to some of the WhatsApp messages. Forgive Ellis. Listen, 
without you all i don't think i would have been able to get by so many of you shared your experiences with me and i'm just very grateful very very grateful and i've been lifting everybody up in my prayers every single day um thanks to everyone who supported us during the funeral and during the week let me tell all you well my big brother shilling he did all the running arounds in terms of making the arrangements getting the death certificate and getting the um permits for the cremation and and that kind of thing so thanks to him and uh, thanks to all my aunties my cousins and my uncles who visited every day cleaning cooking putting things in place um renting tents renting chairs thank you all so much all my auntie i just always say all my aunties is like my mothers and them you know they all come from they all cut, they, they have all been cut from the same cloth and i'd like to hope and believe that you know i have some of that cloth in me too right great 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 piece of material they all came from so thanks uncles aunties cousins um even those they were there helping mommy even while she was bedridden and sick too and uh, thanks to everyone who came to the wake and supported karen and steve were there every single night and they stayed until the wee hours of the morning and um all my friends and bika carrie and steve all the folks from the carcass all the folks who came from far and wide to be there and um, special thanks to the ramru family that's um sumati sunita and um, marissa and narisha and vidi and all of them from in the back we grew up like brothers and sisters and let me tell you these people every night of the week they brought um hmm, they brought food galore I want to tell you, it's not just food, it's great tasting food. Yeah, pilau, macaroni salad, corn soup, cheese paste, roti, right? Um, so <laughs> thanks to them. Thanks to all the neighbors. Arena Village, Erin, is a very close-knit village. And um, everybody knows everybody and everybody loves everybody. I'm so happy to be part of Arena Village Irene. I love everybody down there. And you know, I mentioned in one of the videos that we had lost a great soldier from the village also, Mr. Bertrand. Um, so it was like two weeks in one week. And it was crazy, it was crazy. Emotions were running high. And uh, lots of lots and lots and lots of sadness. Um, also thanks to Auntie Dudu from up part up trees. Hmm. That was mommy, one of mommy real, real good friend. You know, every night that lady bring doubles or Sahina or Polori and she and just bring that just so you know she bring in all the the the, the accompaniments, all the accoutrements, the sauces, the the um chutneys, everything. She even bring the little pieces of paper to put the doubles on and even the little bags to put the polori in. Watch now, she come complete boy. And um, Annie was there every night with her too. They came every night, every night. Thank you so much. Um, thanks to my father's side of the family. They brought some um, wonderful pastries. And uh, everybody who brought things, you know, the cases of waters and the cases of drinks and the sweet breads, the loaves of bread, the pieces of cheese, the bottles of coffee, the packs of hong wing, the packs of sugar, the cups, the napkins, everything. They brought everything. People thought of everything. And you know, I felt so happy to know that mommy had that turnout and she had that outpouring um, of love because I'll tell you something. You see, my mother, boy, my mother used to that's what she said for everybody you could always get a plate of food from mommy and when you reach my mommy she ain't asking you are oh, you go eat some food she telling you you know but in a nice way eat some food now nah, i'm going to take out some food for you that is how galen was they used to call her galen yeah so um 
all my aunties like that too eh? all my aunties like that you're sure to get a plate of food so i just want to say thanks um thanks to all the um thanks to everybody thanks to the people from the palo seco open bible church who came and they had uh prayer services a few nights during the um during the week really inspiring really encouraging words from them thanks to pastor Ka pastor Kerry, pastor alexander brother tony sister liz um sister kathy who did the singing for the funeral thanks to everybody the entire team from the palo seco open bible church you know i if i miss out anybody i'm so sorry uh just doing it off the top of my head you see i have no paper or nothing in my hand i just doing it off the top of my head and uh, just thanks thanks you know um thanks to everybody who helped um thanks to lasana and diane who are there um lasana every morning Las you know every morning lasana was getting up before everybody and lasana well we didn't have to make coffee because we had coffee from remaining from what we would have made at two o'clock in the morning so he would get up reheat that coffee and uh, he would start picking up the rubbish from the night before and repacking the chairs you know and then he'd come and wash up ways inside and then uncle papa would come in around let me see uncle papa would reach up around nine o'clock and uncle papa will sweep him up you understand and um uncle dodo well he'd be there in his own way supporting us moral support big up uncle dodo <laughs> Yeah, Diane and all did a lot of cleaning up and stuff. And you know, just thanks to everybody who contributed um, in helping this really tough time go as smoothly as possible. And um, I just ask any Lord to God bless everybody shower his love and his mercy his grace his kindness upon everyone his anointing from the crown of your heads to the sole of your feet be glorified in his name worship him magnify him god is real all year god is real and uh, you need to make that declaration within your heart and uh, eventually it'll come out through your mouth and then eventually you'll want to go on a mountain top and make that declaration as loud as you possibly could and that's okay you should do that too yeah so after the funeral I spent a couple days and i came home and ellis went from the ellis crash when i say crash a crash um but i'm up and running thanks to everybody who has been motivating me all of you all the thousands and thousands and thousands i wish i could tell call everybody by name of the top of my head but i ain't read so smart yet so forgive me but you know who you are and you know that i love you and i want you to rest comfortably and be confident in that love that i have for you some of you i met many of you i haven't but that's okay i don't need to meet you to love you that's the love of the lord right so i wish you could take something positive from this vote of thanks and um life is fleeting life is short i don't want to go into the whole lecture i did that the morning after mommy died right but i will still you know in a nutshell stress love the lord love yourself be patient with yourself be kind to yourself nobody's perfect i cannot cast the first stone and neither could you nobody is perfect except the lord all right so remember that give thanks and be loving and kind that being said let me show you something i wanted to do something nice but i was a little broke something now all you don't panic when i say i broke sir the lord does provide my neighbor kudus came Inside my house a little dark he came and he brought these cabbages right last night the batcher bite off one or two pieces right you see these things here they're nice and they're healthy you know what i'm going to do i'll go show you i'll just 
cut off the little bad spots the one or two little bad spots that you see in there right it's a no big deal cabbage fresh and nice still and he gave me some nice seasoning too and I buy a little containers a little flour a little brown bag and a hammer cooler from the other day so I'm going to make a little sada curry cabbage and just carry down the road and see who will take a box you know I see it have a lot of people down the road I, I just see people out the road on the streets and I know they just be hungry I know they I know they have a little fire burning in the belly right and um just go down I used to do it before I used to do it before just make a little 20 boxes or a little tent boxes or whatever and you just go down the road and believe me there are going to be people who are going to accept it and accept it with a willing heart don't be afraid just pick up yourself you don't have to go and ask people if if i bring food you go take a box no make the food package it carry it down offer it to them with love of course bless the food they'll take it right so i'm going and pick some shadow benny Kenna, I was doing this project the day mommy passed and everything just remained as is and you see how the land getting dry but Grammy shell struggling I don't wet him everything struggling in the yard but it wouldn't be for long man so you see I have a nice little shadow Benny patch growing there I'm gonna show you ay 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 see them fellas some nice big leaves here too them thing this chucky all you know what shadow benny seed is look like this that is shadow benny seed it had to get brown it had to get brown and this be dispersed and that's how your shadow benny patch just grew but this thing here this chuck your finger so be careful so i'll go pick out this and i'll sh show you how much I end up with right and of course anytime you're sticking your hand in like shrubs and grass like that always be watchful always be vigilant for snakes and other creepy crawlies right so we get a whole hand, <laughs> handful of bandanya and we go in to grind up this with some garlic and some of the other seasoning from kudus and get the bad spots off the cabbage and cut it up and wash it out so we're going to chunk it that big pot in the morning I don't have a big basin to need my flour so I think I'll need my flour in the biggest saltary pot I have I think it is about that size it's about that size <laughs> alright so we'll take this pot Oh, oh gosh, where does this come from? That's not Shadow Benny. And we'll just let him soak a little bit. Yeah, nice portion, man. Nice, nice, nice Shadow Benny. Gosh, I love Shadow Benny. Suddenly feeling tea chow or doubles. Right. Let Mr. Man soak there. Wash up the wares. Right. Auntie Kim buy a pizza for, for us today. Auntie Kim bring a pizza, let me see. What kind of pizza she bring there, boy? Alright. Well, you have to be careful, eh? Pizza hot, so blow it. Mr. Sana? What? I need a knife sharp, please. Okay, I have it. He is seeing the sharpening stone. Where did the sharpening stone go? We don't know where the stone did go. Oh you all don't know. Check inside that basket, eh? Raise up something. Is that it? Gotta look for it. It's to cut the cabbage. Oh, the one is 
sharp. Yeah, I want it sharp. Like how you just look. Thanks also to um, Delamay and Davian who put together some really nice programs for the funeral. And their mom, uh, who would have been my mother's aunt, their mom passed away last year too. So it was fresh for them. And they last saw my mom for their mom 40 days. Imagine that, sir. You see how life just be. So thanks to Delamay and Deblian and Johan and his wife Celine also for sending all the love and support. Thanks to all my in-laws who left Cora and Trinity and made it all the way down there for the funeral. Lance and Louise, Lisa, Ian, Auntie Kim, Uncle Lyndon, Haley and Anna. They came down too, so I was real, real happy for all that support. Thank you very, very much. Um, thanks to everyone who made it also to the crematorium and penal. All my friends who I haven't seen in a long while. I was happy to see them. I wasn't happy um, for the circumstances under which we had to meet again, but I was very happy and grateful to see them. And thanks for showing up and being there. And a great big thank you to the Boodoo's uh, funeral home. They did an excellent job. They were very, very um, informative, kind. They took their time and explained everything. They were very patient and understanding. And uh, to the guy, I didn't get his name, but to the guy who prepared my mom for cremation, I want to say a big, big, big special heartfelt thanks. I hope that you're seeing this somehow or the other thank you so very much for how you prepared mommy she looked absolutely stunning and absolutely beautiful and I could not have asked for anything better she was so 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 beautiful and I know you took extra time and care in doing that so you know thank you for that thank you to the team at Boodoo's Okay, so I scrub up my sink and thing. I real scrub down my two sinks and I um, sanitize with hot water and thing. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna pull out the outer layer, the couple outer leaves like that, right? One, two. Okay, okay. I gotta do this good over. Just now, eh? Just pull out that. And I'll just start cutting away the little bad spots. Right? Cutting away the little bad spots. Anyway, you see a little hole. That's not worms, you know. That's the batch of them that take it last night. I was like with my friend. And I just we just see this little hole in a batch. I had it covered on. Them batch of them going underneath the um the kitchen towel and toting away cabbage. You ever see things so? Right, so you see that there? Right. It looks brand new, right? So repeat 15 more times. Mr. Son, I want to know if your knife sharp enough. How are you going to test it? No one. Is this big knife you ordered? Yeah. Cut it in half, let me see. Wait, 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 I ain't seen. What do you think? Yeah, man. Smart enough? Yeah. I mean sharp enough? Possibly not. No, 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 no. It's okay. Even your jersey tell him I don't do it. <laughs> Thanks. So this is just a little preliminary wash because I'll go in and shred them up and then I will give them um, a proper, proper bath right inside the sink with a little bit of baking soda. Now Mr. Sana say he cuts up this, I mean he sharpened this this thing real sharp, right? So let me see. Okay, alright, alright. Now I'm not going and remove the pit. Right? You see that there? I'm not removing that because I want the cabbage to still kind of hold itself together while I cut it up. If I remove this, everything will just fall apart. 
So, you know, just go in there and shred. It's ready to break it down. Yeah, man. Like working good. Real good. Yeah, shop. Mm -hmm. Right, you see this stay? That you can discard that. It might still get a little end there. If you want to save cabbage. But discard it. Not in the sense of like throw it away in the bin, but use it for compost, right? So we are going to do the same process with all of this. Yeah, see they say way boy. Say the way say way boy. Way boy. <laughs> way boy is correct. So there we go. I had this knife since I'm married, you know. I buy this knife as I'm married. As going in eleven years. Hmm. Yep, so you see, I got two nice full beasts on a cabbage there. Yeah. I just set aside one or two um, to share for a couple other people. So I'll just clear up my, my station here. And I have the seasoning to deal with here. Right? And then... Then, then, oh gosh, I get proper lighting. Then I'm going to peel all of that. Right? So I'm going to peel all of that green fig and soak them, but I'm leaving that for last. So, let we go. There we go. You're going to peel green fig? If you teach me. <laughs> yes, I'll teach you. Let me see how the night progressing. Dust dark. That is called a dust dark evening time. Right, right. Look how pretty. You see, this is the 6:36 p.m. sky. Moon there. Yeah. And those two other fellas, I think it's Mars and Jupiter. Well, I'll try to bring you guys back out a little later to show all you. But yeah, look at that beautiful silhouette. It's already darker on this end. I hear any nighttime insects coming out. Beautiful cloud formation up there, boy. It's almost like an angel inside there. And why not? Hiena, real peaceful evening in Cora. Let me show you the situation, right? So one whole basin of cabbage fit in this one whole plastic bag, right? Well, I'll wash it out and thing, and we'll do the same for that. Eh, eh. It fit real good. You want to feel it? How it feel? It heavy? Phase two, right? So, what Alice is going to do is just mince up all of this in the chopper, right? I am going to separate pimento one side and shadow bunny one side and onion one side and that and that one side. Now, nah, I just going to mince up everything together. A melee. So. I'll just rough chop everything just to break it down um, to make the chopper kind of like deal with it easier now, you know? Just chunksify them. I hear this now, it is real going on cooking, but only two onions I have in my fridge. Ever see things so? 
two onion are ready. And let me tell you something, eh? Onion, those spoiled food, eh? The spoiled food is if you don't fry the onion properly, number one, and two, if you don't let your food cool properly before storing it, right? For example, if you cook and you want to put your food, your fry right, especially in a container, right? You, you, can, you can't put hot, hot fry rice. If you're, eating, if you're not eating it one time, you can't put hot, hot fry rice in a container and seal it because it's the sweat that is going to spoil the food. I just put onion in everything. Let's make sure I cook it up properly before in fact anything cook it up properly and yes you put in all of the shadow bit right so let me see if I could get like a little sahina situation going check it oh gosh I was eye water in that onion there, you know? a little sahina situation roll them up tight and compact Right. That's what we're looking for. This is not shallow Benny. And here we go now. Eh eh. Eh eh. Eh eh. Eh eh. This is my garlic pound and stone, right? I've had this um, going in 10 years. I get it from Lucy Ro. Look at the design, look at the shape. It's wonderful. Here now, look at it now. It's like a mouse. It's designed for your hand, you know. Alright, and you have that flat surface there. And what we're going to do is pong the garlic. Alright, so, we have now just take them out of the jacket supposed to be easier right and you're just cutting out that little that little piece on top there that's tough that will not melt down on your butter so you might be eating on here and just feeling this crunchy thing under your teeth so <laughs> repeat several times several several like this looking like about a hundred times here right so we're going good Look at the seasoning. Look at all the seasoning. We're going to blend up all these things. Wash! I'm sure they could have smelled this boy. Mm -mm. We have almost everything in there. The only thing I didn't put in there is um ginger and thyme and oregano. But this, I think this is enough. So, let me blend it up, grind it up as they say. And I go show all you. I wouldn't show all you while I'm doing it because it'll make too much of noise. This is our night. Right, so my light real bad in my kitchen tonight. Some bulbs blew. I had to get some bulbs. But um, this is the seasoning situation. You see? Mm. Just until the last Sunday. Mm-hmm. I wish all you could have smelled this. Looking at it. Let me tantalize all you. Looking at this alone. All you must know how this might be smelling, eh? Think about it. You know what garlic this smell like pimento, shadow bunny. All you know what all the ingredients this smell like. And all you know when all your blend seasoning, how would it smell? Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. That is a dear. You understand? No. We're getting it done, chip chip. I'm doing it easy, easy. All by my lonesome. Well, I shouldn't say by my lonesome. I hear with you, Almighty. So we're getting it done. Knock your bowl for good luck. So I have just a small situation to deal with. My green things, right? You all would have seen before 
how I peel them and I slice them up. So I'm going to do it pretty late. I'm going to cut them up and leave them soaking in a little bit of vinegar and salt water. So that when I get up early in the morning, it's just to get them a nice warm rinse and chunky that pot. And I think this is this is really it what I had to do here for tonight. Um, and I'll just get my little things ready to need my flour in the morning and things. So when I wake up, action. So you see, we have a jacket buttons here, soaking in a little salt. Sorry, they for shifting. Soaking in a little salt and vinegar, right? So it's going to be, it's going to hold out well for the morning when I have the chunky. And we have a whole sink full of compost. And I feel that I'd like to throw this underneath the breadfruit tree. But it's late now, so I'll just put it in a bowl and throw it in the morning. So from here is just to really, um, I have space in the fridge. Put everything in the fridge and get my things organized. Like my little pot and thing to put on the stove. I'm a flower and my yeast and everything ready. So in the morning when I get up, it's just the upper eat. You can bring that for me? Mm -hmm. Bring it for me now. Oh boy, thank you, baby. So let me see muscles. Look, my helper child here. <laughs> my helper, the gay, the big sister in IT. So, what you help me do tonight? I, I wanted to make a special card for you when I was when I was uh mm, when I was your birthday. Oh, uh -huh, but look, and you help me bring these things here. Right, so let me show them a little setup before I go in and sleep, right? I'm tired, understandably so. I still now 100 percent eh? It's not COVID I have, it's the flu. A little throat infection is going around with the Sahara dust. So I have my things here for my roti. Let me show them in the morning. I'll give the sirens out. I need them a flower in this pot because the other basins I have wouldn't be big enough. I have my um, sister there and I have my two pots waiting to get the curry and the sada fig going right faithful lotus i had a cover for this thing i don't know where it's going so we'll rinse them out don't worry i know they're watching that white spot we're rinsing out all of that in the morning i just had things set up in our way in the morning i go operate right my tower um my tower wash uh, Suri, you know where the bailna is? It's in the fridge? Alright, we will take out that in the morning, right? Okay, mm -hmm. ready to go and do-do? Come, let's go and do-do. Tell them see all you tomorrow. Okay. Blushing. You blush, huh? Come, come, come. Tell them see all you tomorrow when we're making roti and thing. My bad then. Show them how you just give mommy a bath. Oh god! Papa. Ah. Four o'clock in the morning. Good morning. It is half past four. And Ellis now wake up. I wake up and the first thing I wanted to do is to just see all in this morning, right? So um, I've been um, brush my teeth. Coffee. I already say my prayers <laughs> and comb up my hair, tie up my hair. So I'm gonna do it again here in the food and we we'll get the process started. Everything basically organized, so it's just action. But you know, prayers and coffee is right. I hear that movement. <laughs> I know here you snoring. I wasn't going to wake you up, you know. Why you do that to yourself? But I was right there.
Well, he's the coffee maker, so he go make no coffee for me, right? <laughs> All right. One pot. Two pot. And I'm hot up good. So what we'll do is chunky them. I have a flower pot. <laughs> well, you see my flower bowl? Sana, you see my flower bowl? Right? And <laughs> I'm hot up a little bit. Mr. San, I like to see them bubbles taking place. Alright, so I just throw a little bit of oil or three tablespoons inside there, not too much. I already put some already, but the camera wasn't running, so I just want to show all you. Alright. Put a good amount of seasoning inside the pot. For the um, green pig. Find the seasoning looking nice for us for any morning, boy. I like to put a real season in my stuff there. Okay, now let's try a little more in the um, cabbage. So that's what we do the seasoning for, to cook, right? Yeah. Then I'll suck out there. And let you suck out here. Yeah, right. I softened my flour. Right back. Um, I need my two hands. I need my two hands. Now we're going to throw in some curry here because it's curry cabbage. Right? I think that's enough. That's fry up nice. Normally, I don't put water when I cook in my curry and thing. But after I let this fry for a couple minutes, I'll throw in a little water. See? Mm -hmm. I wish I had a few extra hands. So, see how nice my curry looking? Oh my gosh. I'm cooking for a little while. I, I actually did not add the water. Alright, so we'll just start to throw in the cabbage. And I'll just start a well down. I feel like I gotta ask Mr. Sana to come and help me with this. Little, little, little by little, we'll get it done. But oh gosh, can I tell you how nice this thing smells, eh? So we'll just keep adding and turning and waiting for it to wilt. In the meantime, I think I'm going to need a hand from Mr. Sana to throw in the um, green fig. Come this way. That's a lot of flour here. Yeah, that's the biggest beast now, huh? <laughs> like that's that. a pot of flour? <laughs> yeah. Do you understand? So we're going to do this. You know, and let me tell you something, yeah? I'm cooking this and I'm boxing it out and I carry it on, but I'm not going to show all you who are giving it to because that's not right. 
the only reason why I invited you all into the kitchen to see my cooking and preparing and boxing out is to show you that it doesn't have to take a lot of effort and it doesn't have to take a lot of money for you to put together a few boxes of food to give somebody who might need a meal because let's face it there are people out there who would be happy to get a box of food right so you don't have to if it is a cooking for people you don't necessarily have to go and do it in a grand way it's good but you could also do it in a small way and that's what I'm trying to show you today right I didn't have any money <laughs> and this man come and drop all these cabbages and, and green fig and then somebody sent a little change for me I buy some flour and one or two other little things because it's something I really wanted to do and I said the Lord is blessing me I need to pay it forward this is how we're supposed to live this is how the Lord wants us to live right so he wants us to help each other even if you have one person and you give one person a place of food you did well right and I remember I remember um, as I was telling all yesterday how <laughs> my mother for how we people just brought stuff brought stuff you know when I came home from the week I was just from the funeral sorry I was just I was a, a crash right and I remember boy like the Sasana was trying his best to put meals together it had things in the house there eh, but it's like the energy it was taken to put things together and then Auntie Kim came with um big box of KFC one evening and I was so happy for that and then um, the Sunday my friend Diane came and Diane brought food from her Sunday lunch and Diane did something for me that only my mother could have done Diane made a pot of soup chicken and vegetable soup and she bring it and she say Ellis drink this and strengthen back yourself and um, I don't usually eat in front of people when they bring food one time, but I dish out that soup. And with every spoonful that I ate, I just felt the strength coming back, coming back. I said, Dear girl, you come like my mother here this evening, you know why? So, you know, all the goodness <coughs> and all the love that people give us. And then I can bring pizza yesterday too. So, we had to do something to repay the favor, right? I agree. Yeah, man. So, check my birthday for when I'm a sister. All right. Mm, take bubbling away here, boy. Cabbage. Honey cabbage look good. Get into that. Get into that cabbage now. But let's turn up this here a little bit. How are we going there? Well good. Don't mind I in the night here. Yeah? <laughs> See, it's nice and soft. We're coming together real nice. When I say I need so much a roti. I never need so much a roti. <laughs> so much roti. You're estimating to get from that? Well, usually when I make a, a half bag of this, I just get about five good size, well, medium size roti. Mm -hmm. So I assume in between eight to ten roti from this. And I use two bags of flour. Okay. So maybe about eight and eight is a hundred. <laughs> eight, eight and eight, maybe a hundred and two. Oh gosh, oh, it's a bottle empty boy. When you get a chance for that, it's from a mm -hmm. freezer. Relaxion in the kitchen, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh gosh. Let me check out this cabbage. Let me see a big pot of cabbage, so. How the color looking? Real boss. It's sticking on any. No, not yet. 
Yeah, nah. When I chunk your foot, that one Mr. Sanders is doing a scrape this side, you know? Yeah. This creep man. man. That color looking best, boy. This is the rosy station. She's going good, you know? Mr. Sana helping me wash up my arm. Where's my roti bowl? Flower bowl. <laughs> my flower bowl, right? And I want to show all you something real nice. Eh eh. What is that taking place on that island? There? What is that situation? That is a roti situation. I went and start to make the roti. Um, my average was correct, 16 rotis, and everybody getting a half. And I drink my coffee before I started making my roti. Because once I started bailing and sticky and slice up and throw my cooler here, you see, I'm a cooler ready and waiting. Once that process starts, I ain't stopping. Right? Good morning. I love all you. Sana, you love them too? Of Mr. Course. Mr. Sana? Of course, I love everybody, boy. And here now, it's so nice, eh? Imagine. I hear the parrots outside. I'm showing all the low up close. Right? Nice, nice, nice flower. And I wonder if all you could guess who this little one is for. All you could guess why? Sana? That little one in the, in the center. Are you for me? You? <laughs> Princess Margaret. <laughs> nice nah, for you, it's for you. You want it? I'll get it. I'm gonna just carry all your outside to show all your. It's 5.50 a.m. Are you hearing the parrot hunting? I know all you love to hear the parrots on the mountains and the hills and stuff, you know. And all you like to see the um. Planting leaves, blowing in the morning wind, and the coconut branches. The sun has started to come over that hill yet. And look who reached already. All you do, all you want to do is hear my voice, eh? All you watch Ellis yard now. I had to clean up my yard, boy. Beautiful. Fellas playing early this morning. Alright, so let me start to make your roti, right? Take your flour, you put a generous amount. Then you're going to reach the first loy that you roll out and put is the first one you're going to start with. And you rest them down there, right? Get some of my chain, chop, ting, so. Spread them out, flip them. <laughs> oh Lord, all oh the Alice lighting. And of course, you know, while you're bailing, if you think that you need more flour, you put, the whole idea is to prevent it from sticking onto the surface or even sticking onto the bail now. carry this. I wonder if I could do this with one half one. You go see. Yeah, nice and gentle. Add lower the heat a little bit, but I raise it now. Right? So I'll just show all of this. Alright, all you see any bubbles there? Good. Let me flip it. I can do it with one hand, boy. Oh, push now. I can do it with one hand. Hold on. Let me get this one up there. Just so. Right. Got a nice color. And we'll wait a little bit because with my roti, you don't have to turn for it to, um, to swell, eh? 
Real good, Mr. Asana. <laughs> check thing there, check thing there. Boss, boss. Good. Dad, it looks like a potato. Like a potato? That is what we call our veg roti. <laughs> Like Good job, Mrs. Sana. <laughs> but we're almost done. We just have about three again to do. Mm. After this one is three. We're going to see inside here. We're taking place immediately. You see in the heat. Oh, God. Mr. Sana. First time? Right. So much. Um, for he say. First time he participated in so much roti making. You enjoying it or you getting frustrated? No man! Patiently enjoy it. So you gonna say like for the next time you're gonna know how to handle yourself better? Of course. Right. <laughs> Are we going there, mommy? Okay, that's the Takari here. Mm. Even distribution man. Mm -hmm. Looking good? It's looking good. And I ain't lying to tell you. And the feeling is nice. I'm telling you. The feeling, feeling is good. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to bigger people like um, the nation and um, Vidya. I was watching one of their videos where there was a flood. That was the big flood now. Yeah. And they did something like this. I really admire people who um who take their time to do such things, boy. I need some more Oh, oh gosh! Now we're well, Ellis to the rescue. What's <laughs> <laughs> it? Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm, hey, this real pretty girl. It like you. No, that's a superwoman. Superwoman? Yeah. It nice. I love it. Right. So we have we took carry boxes. Yeah. We get twenty eight boxes, right? And we're going and just cover them up. Mr. Sana already cut up roti in quarters. Yeah, man. We put in a half in each bag, right? So, like two quarter? Two quarter. Alright. Right? Yeah. <laughs> or, like, you could say, like, four eighths. Four eighths. Yeah. Right. Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Here, nice. Sana. She will help me make roti. Yeah. Egg girls? She will help me make it. Maybe look Billy. Oh, oh my God! The child working too hard, no man. Yeah, you make it. Yeah, that. make sure nice, and cook the child roti there for sure. All right. Da 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 da. Too hot? Yeah. Too hot? Yeah. Cook the child roti good, Mr. Sana. I'm <laughs> trying my best. You don't say that. So we're bagging out the roti. The roti that you, you know your hands touch every single roti. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so the whole crew ready? Yeah. yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. So the food in the car, we pack up the food in the car, we just go in and buy two cases um cold chubby and um Sasana said, buy water, you know, but oh gosh, you know how nice it could be for somebody to eat that food and drink a cold chubby. And I think I'll buy like a little, um, a little bourbon biscuit and a little sunshine snacks to get them nice, a little dessert. A little dessert? A little dessert. Alright. Where are you going with that? Yeah? Where? Where's that you had it? This is fancy more from Zora Gil. Oh, yeah. so you ready? Already. I like how we matching. Well, we matching like matches. Yeah, the baby plus. Oh, Mr. Kudus! All right. Mr. Kudus going on there. You see that man on there? Oh gosh. That is the man who brought the cabbages and the green fig, and he and why doing this, you know? I'll show him the video later on, but God bless him. So, we have we crew there ready and waiting. Alright, Mr. Sana and I. 
Ja macie to po swojego adresa po kółce. No, no, no. A si je vůbec blatu, si je na sejí, lebo support. Oh, good, and I like check him there. What is called it? Ninja Ranger? Ninja Ranger, yeah. Bonnie Hat. It suits you. Pocket Hat. Pocket Hat? Yeah. There's all kind of names for it. Okay. All right, guys, so I'll check all your back, right? I love all your. Jindra Dan Raj Dan Raj as well as, his, as well as his beautiful wife they came regularly and um, yeah nah, I had a problem with my laptop and it was critical it was critical that that problem was resolved and he he just do all that he just do all that he just fix computers install software clean this that the other and he really helped me get my laptop back up and running at a point in time that I really needed to be done because that's how I had to do mommy eulogy you understand so Daraj and Mrs. Daraj thanks from the bottom of my heart if I call anybody name don't dig up her or, or you know Ellis had not a hundred yet you know but um, I get in there and with, with God's willing I get in there with, with God's willing, with His grace and mercy. I just um, gotta pat some fight in the back there. Sure. I thought I come all you here. How are you? While you're fighting, look at. See any? I go. See any? Oh, yes. Right, so. Where, wherever you are, be happy. Be safe. Be safe. Don't ramble up all your hair when all your mommy coming. <laughs>